Here's the one on the fifth try that worked. It's unbelievable. Today, we are here to talk more generative AI tips and tricks in the newly released version of Photoshop Beta 24.6, dipping into the archives of, and fixing some old photos. That's the thing. It's just like, go back and look at my Lightroom catalog. Right. Oh yeah, that photo I, I didn't like because of this reason. Right. I can now quickly fix it instead right. of spending hours, which wasn't worth it. First thing I wanted to try was to see, well, can I just get back just the top of the head and the ear? Come in here, let's get a little bit, generative fill and just generate. <laughs> Look at that. Same thing here at the bottom. Like, all right, I'm not gonna ask for much, but I really would love to have the legs. I just wanna see. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That's and if he extended the back, it would give us the back of the elephant as well. Let's go for it. And remember, you have three choices. You got that one. Ooh, that one's actually pretty good. And you got that oh. one. Oh. This one I kinda like because it's sort of obscured by the grass down yeah. here. This was before I did the other side. This trunk is even better. That's just crazy. We can have a little baby elephant down here. Jenner to fill, baby elephant grazing. There you go. <laughs> All right, that one. I mean, look at that yeah. the detail. The details of the feet being in the brush. I wanted to really challenge it. I wanted to see how hard would it be to remove the guy in the middle. You got to rebuild the steps. Right. Yeah. And you got to rebuild the guy on the right. Exactly. It's True my, story. So you have the selection. Maybe. I load selection under select. I save the selection just so I don't have to redraw it. That's the selection I made. Went around him, all the way over here, past the laptop, underneath him, around this guy, <laughs> under this guy's arm, under this guy's leg. So that's the selection. The first time I did this, it took five generations to get to the right one. Generate, it's gonna think to put another person there or other things there. Okay, this time put a backpack there. It put a shoulder there or something. It removed him. This kind of looks funky, so I regenerated again. But third try already got so close. Backpack, a person. So this is generation number three. There it is. Let's zoom into that center area. Same perspective. Steps going along the back. Regenerated derriere and back. His left, his his the whole his right side. His whole of his right body. side of his body. This didn't exist. Here's the one on the fifth try that worked. Original. That's crazy. Take him out manually. How long is it gonna take you to do it? Shadow, yep, got the shadow. Yep. Again, I think one of the most amazing things too is because those steps are almost over bright, actually his shirt is, right? The highlights yeah. are kind of blown out. That lighting flows so perfectly with that added shirt and pants with a shadow. You'd never suspect otherwise that someone was, I know. was living in there. It's just unbelievable. Tightly cropped, missing the shoulders. Crop tool, hold down your option key or alt key to crop both sides at the same time. Sides, yep. Marquee, cut in a little bit into the image. Shift, watch I don't have to hold down the shift because I got it set to always right. add. Generate, oh wait, no, 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 hold on. I don't have it. Oh, did you only have the one have side? I the option selected. Oh, okay, good. now we'll add. Glad we called that out. I'll admit I couldn't see the video. No, <laughs> generate. So playing along. Go. Corporate photo, change it. See that middle one again. Actually, this one looks great too. Yeah, first I one. like the, the little indent on the yep. shoulder there. Bye, everybody. Bye.